Hello, I'm Brian Painter of the Oklahoman, and I'm joined by Rick Smith of the National Weather Service in Norman. Rick, can you kind of give me an idea of uh, what you're looking at today as far as severe weather and the threat of tornadoes? Well, Brian, we're, we're concerned that today could be one of those days where we see some significant tornadoes around the area. Uh, there's still question marks even here in the morning of the, of the event that they, we don't quite know exactly how things are going to evolve. But uh, if things pan out like we're, like we're expecting at this point, uh, we could have some uh, very dangerous storms uh, around central and western Oklahoma uh, this afternoon and into the evening. What are kind of some of the timeline things you're looking at, you know, uh, between noon and two, if, if this happened or if that happened, what are some things that you're looking at? The, ma the main question mark we have right now this morning is how many storms are going to form early. Um, there's not a strong cap in place. You hear whether people talk about the cap, but that's kind of like a lid on a boiling, a, a pot of boiling water, keeps things down. Um, if the cap is not strong enough today to keep a bunch of storms from forming, then we may just have storms going all over the place. They'd be severe, but the tornado potential would be somewhat lower. Um, but if we hold off and don't get any storms forming until a little bit later on this afternoon when the air mass is more unstable, then all the ingredients are there that we look for for significant supercell thunderstorms, big damaging baseball size hail and larger and significant tornadoes. So this, one of the things to look for today if you're watching the weather from your home or office is, you know, if there's not a lot of storms on radar between noon and two o'clock out in western Oklahoma, then the potential for tornadoes, the potential for really dangerous storms is gonna be going up. So that's, that's the key today. Okay. Can you kind of give me an idea? I, I, I know it's no specifics, but can you kind of give me an idea for the Oklahoma City Metro uh, when especially it should be heads up time? We, we could see thunderstorms developing any time as early as 1 o'clock uh, west of the metro area. Uh, those would, would not be a threat for us. Uh, the storms we need to be worried about would be developing a little bit later on this afternoon. Right now, the, the, the most dangerous time for the metro, the I-35 corridor, would be in that 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. window. And that's about as tight as we can get it right now, but uh, that's going to be in that critical, critical time of afternoon rush hour, school dismissal time, uh, people with the evening activities. So, you know, we can't really stress enough how important it is for people to stay up to date with the weather today, not just every once in a while, but check it often, because this is, this is changing by the minute, and it could be a dangerous, pretty dangerous situation for lots of people in the metro area. Okay, thank you so much for your time, Rick. Thank you, Brian.